Good afternoon, folks. It's been, as you know, an amazing two days here with the birth of my daughter, Kira. We're all back home now, and I figured I'd pop in, give you guys some updates on our star, planet, and everything else going on behind the scenes. By the way, with those coronal holes and plasma filaments, we should expect an uptick in geomagnetic activity in about three or four days. It will be easily discernible if the solar wind stays this calm, just some phi angle twists, and that's it. Earthquake uptick continued in the southern Atlantic Ocean, while Kansas also took a rare location tremor well above average. Something cool. Those big ones from two nights ago, both while my wife was working hard to give Kira life, struck Kira Kira Solomon Islands. Same spelling Add that and to all. Saturn opposing the sun pretty much right at that moment, my favorite planet, and this has got to be one of the coolest coincidences of my entire life. Anyway, this is about all the solar uptick we're going to get from this one. The bigger one will come when Mercury conjoins the sun in just a few days. When the sun looked like it was going to get rolling, a tropics watch was issued for the central Pacific, but upon the sun's failure to go higher, they canceled the alert. Perfect Uyen pattern. I wouldn't expect much in terms of flaring the next day either, as sunspots would need to gain magnetic complexity at a pretty solid rate. Right now, we do have beta class sunspots, but the magnetics are spread like boys and girls in a middle school dance. Very low potential. How about some Earth spot news? First, just a visual splendor as we look inside Typhoon Dolphin. Also note the penumbral lines to the west of the cloud mass. Even better, a true indication of the Earth spot existence. Strong convection leads to electrical disruptions of the tech nature. Total electron content. Couldn't be any other way if Earth spots are real. Folks, if you are waiting for a response on a support email, I am ashamed and horribly sorry for ignoring you the past two days. And with at least 500 congratulations emails, it may be a few days before I get to you. But everyone who signs up before June 1st, or current members who email me before that, will keep the lower membership rate for life even if I don't get to you until after the first. No worries. I'm grinding as fast as I can. Also, don't forget that Observing the Frontier happens in October, but pre-registration ends June 1 as well, so get in there and save your spot. Last but not least, folks, if you live in the central states and haven't figured out the pattern yet, that's not what you want to see. Strong heat and moisture flow bringing dangerous potential tonight keep alert on your local forecasts. I do have some shots of our star to close, but like I said, all is calm. I'll see you in the morning. It's 2.35 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.